Hi everyone, welcome to Eckhart Yoga. My name is Esther and here with me is Mijnke. And today we're going to show you how you can shape your buttocks, how you can loosen them out and how you can strengthen them. So very important, especially since the summer is coming. So let's start on hands and knees. That's it. And while you're on hands and knees, just take a moment to focus. So make this your centering moment. So you're really strengthening your arms, you're spreading your fingers, and you're coming to your breath. Okay. And just to loosen out the spine, make some cat-cow movement. So on an out breath around your spine, head drops, tail drops. And on an in breath, the other direction, really reach your heart forward. Good, keep going, draw your side body up. And on an in-breath, reach the heart forward, shoulders move down. Yeah, last one. And come back to neutral. On the next in-breath, lift your right arm and left leg up at the same time. Extend both out. Stay there. Keep breathing and make your left buttock strong. And you can see Mank is keeping her hips level. You want to do the same at home. And stay for about five breaths. So I'd say that's one more. You keep drawing in your front lower ribs, your side body lifts. And gently on the out breath, releasing knee and hand back down. Other side, inhale, extend your left arm, right leg. That's it. And Nank also keeps her foot really flexed. It helps to activate that right buttock. Good, stay with the breath. Keep the side body lifting. Keep the front lower ribs in. She's doing a beautiful job. One more breath. Inhale. On and out, breath gently. Release. From here, come into a downward facing dog pose. That's it. And take a moment to warm up in downward facing dog. So just be fluid at home. Uh, do what your body calls for. To just open up, loosen out. Feel good in this pose. It can be anything. No right, no wrong. Listen to your body. Okay. From here, we're going to continue on the right side. So you're going to lift your right leg on the in-breath. That's it. Keep your hips square. You flex your foot. And you can feel and you can even see her right buttock is working. So stay with the breath. You can look at your feet with your eyes to keep your neck long. And really firm this thigh back as well. That's it. Your left thigh firms back. Okay. From here, you can step over Manka. So you can bend your knee and step your foot behind. Yeah, that's it. And open up to the ceiling. That's it. Nice. And bring that arm out to the side with the palm up. Yes. So you're opening your chest. Beautiful. So her right foot is stepped behind her left leg, knee bent. And then from there, go all the way into a reversed bridge. So you're bending your other knee as well. That's it. And open your chest and reach back. That's it. Yeah, nice. Lift that left side waist up. Good. Breathe in. Both buttocks work. And on an out breath, turn back. Back to downward facing dog pose. Nice work. Good. And from here, we're going to work our way into a lunge pose. On an in breath, lift your right leg up. And on an out breath, step it through. Good. Before you come up now, I want you to really focus by pressing the front of the right heel down actively. Yeah. And draw your belly in. And from there, come up into a lunge pose. That's it. Lift your arms. Nice. And you can really see Manke is sinking down low. You want to do the same at home if you can. Okay. So really bring the buttocks down. So you move the upper leg towards parallel of the floor. If you want to target your booty doing yoga, it means you have to press your heel down much more actively than normal. And you can feel that connection with the buttocks when you do that. Okay, let's do a few up and down. So on an in-breath, come up, straighten the front leg. And on an out-breath, sink into it. Good. Keep going. Your rhythm. Go with your breath. Exhaling, sinking down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sinking down. Two more. Inhale, lift. And she's working hard. She's not taking shortcuts here. Last one. Good. Okay. Now place both hands on the front knee. 
Yeah. And you're going to turn your body a little bit so the body faces that right leg because from here up we're going to uh, lift up in warrior three. Okay? So you're going to draw your belly in, lean forward, and then lift up, pressing your right thigh back. You can place your hands in front of the heart. Yeah, once you find your balance. Good, that's it. Straighten the standing leg as much as you can, pulling up from above the knee. There's always a little bend. I think it's much safer for the knee to do that. Lift the front body into the back body. Yeah, beautiful. And lower your front body a little. Yes, and those buttocks are working. Good, inhale here. On an outward, come to standing. Yes, nice. Inhale, reach your arms out and up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, reach your heart forward. Exhale, take a downward facing dog pose. And we do this sequence on the other side. Okay. On an in-breath, lift the left leg up. And hold. Again, foot flexed, pressing back through the heel. Imagine someone's hand on the sole of your foot pressing against your foot and you're pressing against that hand. Okay, that activates the leg and the buttocks much more. It's much easier to lift that left hip. It's much harder to stay right here where she is. But it's also much more beneficial in this case. Okay, so you can then step your left leg behind your right leg, bending the knee and opening up. Pressing into your left foot, extending your right leg. That's it. Nice. Open your chest. Feel the shoulder blades on the back. Integrate your shoulder blades on the back and press down and out through your arm into the floor. Okay. From there, take reverse bridge. So you take a bridge pose on one arm. It's not reverse bridge. It's a one arm bridge. That's it. Nice. Beautiful. Keep bringing that shoulder blade on the back. Yeah. Keep looking up. Inhale. Feel those buttocks working. This is not an easy pose. You're doing a little bit of arm strengthening at the same time. Inhaling on an outward, come back to downward facing dog. So you turn back. That's it. Nice. Stay with the breath. Stay with the body. Great workout. On the next in-breath, lift your left leg back up again and step it through into a lunge pose. And before you come up again, remember, press that heel really, really down. Pull the belly in so you're creating core strength and then come up. Bring the arms up as well. Yes. Good. Nice. So really keep firming the front heel in the floor without collapsing in your front arch. Yeah. Yeah, you see how that works a bit there. Good. On an in-breath, extend your front leg. On an out-breath, sink into it. Few times. Inhale, extend. Exhale down. Your rhythm of breath. Keep going three more times. And down. Two. One. And from here we're going to access warrior three again. So hold the top of the thigh and turn your torso to, fo to face the left leg a bit. Pull the belly in. Reach forward a bit over that leg. And then on an in-breath, maybe you need to step your back foot a little further forward already. That's up to you. And then come into it when you're ready. You press the top of your left thigh bone back. And she's really going for the horizontal line. And that's not easy at home as well. Okay? So for most people, it means dropping the front body a bit more. You're perfect, Manka. You're right there where you need to be. And you can work on straightening that standing leg. And it's hard work. This is hard, hard work. Good. Drop the front body tiny bit. The chest, yeah. Okay. Inhaling and come out. Standing up. Reach your arms up. Reach, reach, reach. Press the soles of the feet down. Lift your heart, feel the shoulders on the back, and release the arms sidewards, and bring your hands to your chest. Feel the body here. So this is your workout to create a nice bikini butt for the summer, to strengthen them and to loosen them out. I hope you enjoyed this, and thank you for joining us for this practice. Namaste.